everybody got a really cool email from somebody, but they won't let me use his name, which is fine, with a link. They wanted me to take a look at something called AI Arty as a software, and my feelings about that software compared to Topaz Photo AI version 3. Now, I don't know if you have ever heard of uh, AI Arty or not, but are we ready for this? Let's do it. everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new to the channel this is dedicated to photography and being a photo artist pushing ourselves to think creatively out of the box all right let's jump into the program and uh, by the way if you're new to this channel uh, please do me a favor and that is um, to help push this out to other people who have a similar interest uh, hit that uh, like button subscribe if you have not subscribed and hit the notification bell next time I upload a video you'll get notified all right let's jump into the uh, program and that is somebody had sent me an email but they preferred not to mention their name and they wanted my thoughts on a software called AI Artie, which I've never heard of before but they wanted me to compare it with um, Topaz uh, Photo AI uh, version uh, 3 and I, we're going to do it. Actually, I decided let's throw in Photoshop too. <laughs> what the heck? And we'll get my thoughts on that. But um, interesting software. I think it's not bad, but uh, let's let's jump right into the program. Now, the uh, image I'm going to use uh, as a disclaimer now, uh, I use this just um, geez, a couple of weeks ago or so. It was I found out it was a screen capture from a person that sent me this image because it was very like crude, low res. And um, I can't mention that person's name. They won't let me. So I don't know where they got the image from or whatever. Obviously, it was a screen capture type thing. So we're going to look at that and we're going to analyze it with these three different softwares. So I'm going to open up. Uh, I already have it opened up. Uh, AI Arty, you can actually download that. So let's go to that software. Here we go. And uh, I, I didn't purchase it. If you decide that you're going to buy it, let me click on this. And uh, you'll see that there is what's called a standard license, which is billed yearly. It's $75 right up front. And uh, you'll get free updates for a year, but then you're going to be charged $75 again every year. This is on sale, I guess, right now. Now, again, as of this recording, because I have to record this in advance. Um, by the way, when you're watching this, um, I mean, I may be in a certain place I'll talk about um, in another video. Uh, I can't mention it yet, but it's $99 for lifetime upgrades. It's a one-time payment. I cannot see why you would spend $75. With $25 bucks more, it's a lifetime uh, it's good for three PCs, as is the other one, but again, no yearly update. Uh, free software updates, lifetime, 30-day money-back guarantee. So that's the information about that. I'm going to close out of that. So right up front, you know what the cost is. Uh, remind me later, so I'm just using a trial version. I think they let you have up to 10 downloads. And uh, so I'm going to click here to load an image, and you can actually um, batch process a group of images if you wanted. But... Let's navigate to this image. This is the original image I got uh, from that person. Now it's analyzing this uh, screen capture image, which is very low res, and it's doing what it's supposed to do with AI. Now you can tell it's a little bit sharper right off the bat. So it did some stuff for me automatically. If we take a look here in the upper right hand corner, there are, th I think, three, yeah, three different modes. There's real photo, that sort of pick, there's a smooth one, and real photo. Again, uh, more detail. Uh, I'm going to stay with the, this right there, and that's the real photo. Then to upscale this, it's set to, well, ha it hasn't upscaled. So I'm going to go to the drop down, and I'm going to do this two times. I'll do the same thing in uh, a, a Topaz's a software. We'll, we'll do it two times, and also Photoshop. So let it do, do its thing. And then after that, over here, We've got some choices of different algorithms. Again, more detail. I think it was on more detail there. The point is that there are no sliders, no other features on this. This is basically driven by AI. 
And you can just change different uh, uh, drop-down features here, which is using uh, obviously a different algorithm. And then when you're done, uh, you just click on Run down here, the very bottom, and I'll let you um, decide that you know you could do uh, ten processes, whatever. I'm just going to choose Continue, and then uh, it allows me to save it. Now I already saved this before, so I'm going to close out. Not going to do that. So we'll just uh, cancel out of everything there. Okay, so this is. Um, the uh, Arty, AI Arty software, very limited. It's all pretty well driven by AI. You just have different algorithms you get to choose. So I'm going to close out of that. And then uh, we'll take a look at this more in detail. The next one we're going to take a look at is something you have to purchase to use if you want to export it out, which I have not purchased. And that is the Cedars Photoshop. There is Topaz. There we go. So there's, if you open up Topaz, if you download it, the, um, again, Topaz Photo AI version 3. Um, I'm just going to choose free demo here. I'll click on browse. Go find the same image, which is right here. Click on open. And let the software analyze. Go through its routine. Now, once it's done all that, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come down to the listing over here. And I'm going to choose Scale Up. And what I'm going to do is choose two times to be fair with the other software. So I'm sampling this up two times. Uh, there's some settings here we can do. I'm just going to, you could choose High Fidelity. I'm going to leave it alone on Standard there. But you can actually go in here with sliders and modify things based on each image because each image can be slightly different. But I'm just going to leave that alone. Then I'm going to go to uh, Denoise because what these softwares do is basically three features. Uh, they want to sample up, reduce noise, and then sharpen the image. So with that chosen, the strength of that is under normal. Uh, I'm going to push down on that a little bit. Uh, maybe some blur. Uh, let's see the strength. It seems like it's really pushing that apart too much for me. So I'm going to leave it alone right there. So that is the denoise feature right there. And then sharpen. Uh, I'm just going to do the standard sharpen. Let's see. Let's do something strong. And again, we do have the sliders to change. But I'll go back to standard. And... Um, Let's push this back a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to change the view on this to drop this down a bit so we can see the difference with that. All right, so you got the idea. We're playing with sliders, so you can pick different uh, scenarios and do stuff. Now, I can't um, activate and save because I... I don't own the software, so down in the lower right-hand corner, that's where you export it out, but it won't let me do that. So I, what I did was I did a screen capture of this after I played with those three features. And the key thing, again, with this was, let's close out of that. Uh, I wanted to look at sampling up, also removing any kind of noise, digital noise, and sharpen the image. Now, let's take a look at this in Photoshop. What can we do? So let's go back to uh, the original here. And I'll just to be on the safe side, Control J, Command J, just to do uh, before and after. And in Photoshop, I'm going to go to Filter drop down menu. I'm going to go to Neuro Filters. Now, under Neuro Filters, I, I featured this a long time ago. And that is if I come down here to Super Zoom, I'm going to activate that. And I'm going to increase this by clicking on the plus. So now we're upsizing that two times. Uh, remove any JPEG artifacts. Yeah, what the heck. Uh, noise reduction. We'll do what we can there. Uh, sharpen. Put a little sharpen there. Enhance face details. Okay, so I do have some sliders there. So we're going to... I'm going to leave that alone right there. And I'm going to... I have to accept that. So I'm going to click on OK. Create a new layer. Okay, I'm going to expand this by going to, because I doubled up the size. So I'm going to go to Image, drop down menu right here in Photoshop, and choose Reveal All. So you can see the whole image there. And let's just pull back a little bit. So there's um, before and after on that. 
Now what I'd like to do, let's do control J again, just to be in the safe side. And uh, I'm gonna go back to filter, neural filters again. And I'm gonna go to a different category. That category is going to be skin smooth. And again, a couple sliders here. I'm gonna push this really hard to the right and the smoothness. Now I'll tell you in Photoshop, this is not doing a bad um, job right here. This is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna click on okay again, just new layer. So you can see before, after, before, and after. And then I save this image so we can do some comparison. But again, this is already built into software. Uh, I have to go into two different places if I'm interested in like sampling up, reducing noise, and then uh, obviously sharpen. So I was in those two different categories. So let's minimize this and let's go to uh, right here. Let's take a look at this, expand this. And this is the original image. And if we take a look at, that's what I did in Photoshop. And this is what we came out with with uh, AI Arty. Now I have to admit, AR, AI Arty does a far better job of not only sampling up an image uh, to make it bigger, to enhance it, but uh, also the sharpen. Uh, it just seems like it comes up better than I was able to do, not only in Photoshop, but also with Topaz Photo AI version three. So let's talk about this in conclusion, because there's, again, I highly recommend that you go out and test this. Go to AI Arty, you know, see what you think. Uh, the, the link is uh, will be in the show notes. Basically, it's, I believe it's www.aiarty.com. And then uh, you can go to uh, Topaz to look up their software and get the trial version. Again, you can't export it out, but here's my conclusion and thoughts on this. Let me just minimize all that. Um, the conclusion that I have right now is I think that um, the uh, AI Arty, the positive side of it, I'm getting better results with it so far. Not to say that the Topaz one won't improve over time with this AI capability, but what I do like about the one from Topaz is you have a lot of sliders that you could use to make some final adjustments after you know the... Um, the presets and all that was applied to it in the different categories, you can adjust those. I can't do that in AI already. I can just change different presets or algorithm to be used. So I think you have better control in the Topaz version, but control versus the results I'm getting, I'm getting better results with AI already, okay? So, uh, and in Photoshop, I have to go in a couple different areas. It does an okay job, not bad, but I think AI already and the Topaz one does a little bit better job. You have a little bit better control. Would I buy either one of these softwares? And the answer is no. For me, for you, it might be a good deal. And here's what I want to talk about. I don't have a problem with getting sharp images. I don't have a problem with digital noise because I don't shoot low light stuff. And again, um, my file size, you know, for sampling up or, you know, I don't need to sample up. My camera shoots more than enough pixels than what I need for projects and, and stuff. So based on what I shoot and how I shoot, those three things are not an issue for me. But what if you do you know, a lot of sports with action or wildlife type of photography and you do get a lot of soft images or slightly blurred images um, and sometimes you're shooting in not the most favorable lighting conditions, you know, these softwares are not bad. And I would definitely take a look at um, the uh, AI Photo Arty right now. I think it does a better job than the Topaz version. Um, so again, I think it's up to you based on your type of photography. Get out there, try these, um, you know, off the same image. Try all three scenarios. Go with AI Arty, go with a Topaz Photo AI, you know, version three, and then take a look at Photoshop and see what you like the best. All right, so with that out of the way, hopefully you learned something. And again, if you could do me a favor, like the video, subscribe. If you have not subscribed, hit that notification bell. Also, if you'd like to help support this channel, please consider going to, and I'll have the link right here, and it's also in the show notes, buy me a coffee forward slash Stephen Photo Artist. At, uh, and then again, my email address, if you have any questions on any issues and stuff, 
is right down here on the screen. It's also in the show notes, and it is stephenphotoartist at gmail.com. So again, um, thank you for the ones that are supporting the channel, buying me a coffee. And again, that's at buymeacoffee.com forward slash stephenphotoartist. Until next time, see ya!